KITV4's Commitment 2010. Extended coverage of Hawaii's primary election starts now. In our Commitment 2010 election news, this past weekend's race for Honolulu mayor basically boiled down to two candidates vying for the spot. It was a close race, but former Honolulu prosecutor Peter Carlisle came out on top, beating out acting Mayor Kirk Caldwell. And Mayor-elect Peter Carlisle joins us right now. Again, congratulations and thank you so much for joining us. Nice to see you again from the other night. <laughs> yeah, it was really a long night, but it was quite an exciting one. And uh, Mayor-elect, how does that sound? It sounds good. I think the mayor will sound a little bit better, but we've got to wait until uh, October 8th to get there. And you had a chance yesterday to go surfing. You relaxed with your family. What's on the agenda today? Uh, today we're going to be doing uh, the round with you guys, you media people, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, talking about the Monday after. Uh, and then uh, actually tomorrow, t this afternoon, I'm going to be going over to City Hall to uh, walk in, say hi, and see whether I can speak to some of the council members. And you already have a transition team in place, which is pretty typical for candidates. So can you talk more about that? Well, you need to put that all together so that you need to be able to start doing those things that you need to do to get ready. But the, the key to this is I hope it's going to be a very gentle transition. And because you have to, before you decide who you're going to have in what position, you really need to go and see who's there. My feeling is, is that this is going to be a relatively gentle transition, except for a few people. Uh, and that is because you have to give them a chance to live up to your expectations. You tell them what expected of them. You ask them whether they're willing to, to accept that responsibility, to understand that change is going to be necessary and that it's coming. Mm -hmm. And then let them see whether they, they can adjust and uh, do a good job of that. Some people don't ever get it. Other people do get it because change is coming to City Hall and it's coming now. Yeah, and that's what you said on Saturday night during your victory speech about the change. So what's the first thing that you will change as next as the Honolulu mayor? Well, I think the, the most important thing is to start with as much transparency as possible. Let's get the information out into the public as quickly as they can. To, we've got to take a look immediately at, at what the budget issues are. We've got to get a real good handle on what our financial position is, position is what our obligations are, and how we can deal with them. And then we've got to let everybody know that there's a process that you use when you're an executive, and that is you take a look at all the facts, you try and determine what they are. You don't go in with some preconceived notion. You hear the good for, for what is, the bad, the, and then what you do is you get experts if you need them, mm -hmm. and then you make a decision. You tell people why you made that decision. They may not agree with it, but they'll understand why it was made. How involved do you think Acting Mayor Kirk Caldwell will be in this transition process, and when do you plan to meet with him? I think that he'll be very much involved in it, and uh, I, I plan to meet with him as soon as possible. You know, it was interesting on our social media sites, Facebook and Twitter, people were commenting about the Honolulu's mayor's race. And after you won the election, some people said maybe he should consider hiring Kirk Caldwell or Panos Prevodoros. Is that a consideration? Uh, not right now. Why not? Uh, essentially, what we need to do is to have a, a new beginning over there. Mm -hmm. And somebody who is not associated with political parties, uh, somebody who is not associated with the prior administration, uh, and with Panos, Panos hasn't figured out what a democracy is yet. He hasn't figured out that we voted for this, that it's the will of the people. And so if he's never going to get that, he doesn't need to be anywhere in a position of authority. And we saw you dancing on Saturday night. It was sort of like dancing with the stars. You and your wife, Judy, how are you doing today? I think she's the star. I would not describe myself as a dancing star any day of the week. Oh, well, congratulations to you and congratulations to Judy as well. Thank you for being there. Mary Lecht, Peter Carlisle. And if you'd like to see this interview and other interviews from our morning news, you can go to our website, kitv.com slash this morning.